This episode of Speakers of Heidelin is made possible by our generous patrons, like Chris, Scry de la Rosa, Tommy, Jojo Chaos, Ariel, Courtney, Dimas, Sprocken, Casey Schaefer, Bobby Forbich, and Omega Cat Comet. Support the show and become a patron today at patreon.com slash speakersxiv. This is Speakers of Heidelin. Good evening, Aorcians. Welcome to Speakers of Idol in episode 91. I am Lakeel Bravestone and I'm joined today by Yaspot, Rollo Des, and Maela Vanadar. Hello. Today is um, the week before uh, the big day, which is Live Letter. No, actually, it's six days before Live Letter 43, part two, um, featuring um, Woolhead. Um, <laughs> welcome to Speaks of Ireland today. Uh, we're also <laughs> going to cover <laughs> um, uh, the IGN interview done with Woolhead. So that's an interesting little look uh, into his mind. And in minimum my level this week, far serious hard. Also Mogmail. Remember to send us Mogmail, speakersxiv.com slash Mogmail. We have a lot of Mogmail to go through today. Uh, and in the post show, here's an incentive to stay tuned for the post show, uh, the premiere of the next or the, the latest edition of Soar, um, which is going a bit back to its roots. We are not going to a dungeon. We're not going to a dungeon. How mysterious. Oh. Yeah. So uh, you might want to bring out your map for that one. And in the lore section, Ninja. Ninja! Yeah, that's me! That's Rollo. Um, channel updates, Remnants of a Realm next week, as usual. Um, uh, just an update for those of you that have been sort of haven't paid attention, I'm just going to repeat this. Uh, Roar and Soar will more or less... Well, I mean, I think you'll get two Roars in a month and one Soar, because they're like every other week. So there's like one week on, one week off. So just keep that in mind. Just because there's one week break doesn't mean that Roar is over. Although... Soon. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Aurora, look forward to that. Um, in some quick uh, updates, um, the PS3 character transfer uh, campaign, or whatever you want to call it, is ending. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm surprised it hasn't ended already, um, but uh, it's ending in late May. So, if you still have character data... On your PS3, you might want to transfer it now. They never think it would end, but all right. What, is this like the... <clears throat> this is specifically like any character data? That's what this is about? It's not about like transferring your license? It's. I think it's your license. That, well, that's that you're transferring. Wait, I thought from, it was it's not, character. Oh, I'll, I would I'll, assume it's license. Oh, it's yeah. license. See, I didn't even read the story. I was like, PS3, Who? who cares? Uh, oh yeah, it is. I for your PS3 yeah, I, I, 14 data. Um, yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Oh, it's the upgrade. No, it says ability yeah. to transfer your character data from the PlayStation 3 to the PlayStation 4. But isn't uh, that like... I think different. it just means your license. Yeah, I feel like... Cause How, I what can kind of wording is that though? Character data is stored on... Wait, I don't know how the PS3 it's works local. though. I mean, it's local. Regardless, yeah. Well, yeah, I would, but I will, I would, I would, ex I would assume because your character is stored on the server. Correct. Yeah. So it has nothing to do with the local storage. So that's just your, no, yeah, that's you just can your log in on PC and lo load up the same character, no issue. Hmm. So it's not to do with the thing where you get the PS4 version for free anymore. That's that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah like, I, don't know, I remember the upgrade campaign ended a long time ago. I remember ago, that yeah. announcement. So that's a long. Oh, we even covered it on the podcast. This so, seems to be just character. I guess it's just how data is stored on the PS3. Maybe it was like an upload, upload service, yeah. yeah. Your HUD and such. Your HUD and, and everything. Makes sense. Yeah, because yeah, obviously, because you can't. How do you transfer that, right? If you haven't done it, guys, do it now. <laughs> too late. Yeah, it's mm, almost too late. So hurry. I feel up. like uh, I feel like at this point, if you really want to go back to your uh, Heavensward hot bars and gear sets, I mean, you can do that, but. 
I think he probably moved on by now. Anyways, yeah, at this so. point you should. Have. Who knows? Maybe uh, you still watch us. <laughs> yeah, it says that it ends late May, so I would assume it's just going to end with the next patch. Um, yeah, so, most likely. Um, enjoy that. If you want to save your PS3, <laughs> uh, go ahead. Um, okay, so let's uh, get into the interview. It wasn't a lot of a uh, lot of meat in this interview, but it's always interesting to see Woolhead. He is a he's a character of a person. Mm-hmm. I am I I everyone who's watching now should watch that interview after this podcast just to just look at the hair because mm. there there is Beautiful. something to be great. Yeah, it is magical. If you haven't, because I'm I'm sure some people might be listening or watching this podcast and they're like who they've heard us mention woolhead before and they're like that's just they're just excited sorry heard you mention from woolhead. me sorry yeah <laughs> Said, saying woolhead you once you see him it'll snap you'll you know him you know exactly yeah. what i mean that mm-hmm. is literal wool that that dude has glued on his head <laughs> um, glued yeah uh so um this is uh this is some of the stuff that came out of it um, so they started by deciding. So they they talked about like how they they um, came to um, the decision to put evil is in, and because there's, you know, they have a lot to pick from uh, <laughs> in Final Fantasy, but they decided to go with Evilise um, and putting Evilise in fourteen. It's interesting because it ha- it's sort of this sort of um, both adds to and damages the Evilise theory. Um, because they they just they had to first decide what evilies themes and ideas and rules that work in evilies would work for fourteen and what wouldn't mm-hmm. because some things in evilies just don't really apply to fourteen and wouldn't work a lot of it yeah so they had to like discard all that which to me sort of already is a red flag like oh well you know yeah, that course. that tiny fragment that was left of that evilies being actual evilies in fourteen um, that. That part of the that, the theory is, I feel like the theory is just dying by the by the minute. Mm-hmm. You know? um, Could you imagine if they brought judges into fourteen, how they were in tactics, and they're like, for this dungeon or trial run, no, oh, uh, off global cooldowns. If you if you do it, you get a penalty card. There, right. There's someone um, um, did point out once. Um, I don't know where I saw this, but um, we don't know a lot about like how the Garlean if maybe they have judges in Garlemol, but we just don't know of them yet. Maybe there is like a judge yeah. system. It, that's possible. Because we don't really know a lot about they're them. pretty they're pretty uh like Roman Empire though. They, Which not that not that judges aren't a thing, but it's I would say more so kind of I don't know. I don't know. It's you know it's speculate. We'll we'll know soon enough. But um I don't I don't it would be cool to see a judge in the Evil East. Right? I'll put it this way. If they have judges, they're definitely not just going to be called judges. Because of, no. you know, Garlean Empire, they'll be called like the blah, 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 blah. They'll have some Latin name. Right. Maybe the Latin name for judge. Maybe like, it's already in the game. It's Latin. It's not. <laughs> what? <laughs> judge is just Latin. That's the Latin word. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it would kind of feel like you're just fighting Garleans. Yeah. Which is fine and I mean, everything, remember, but not what you want from an evolution in, raid, right? In fourteen lore, remember this is a Garlean controlled area, so it wouldn't right. be weird if we encountered Garleans. Um, and <clears throat> judges, at least from twelve, they could they could still be sort of different because they're more Star Warsy, basically. <laughs> uh, so yeah. they yeah. could do some stuff with that. Yeah, I feel like even though they've put. Aurus like into this, and they've also sort of put it into Eureka as well. No one's really like expanded on it. Like it's supposed to be this super rare thing that Moonbreeder managed to find and like oh, right. and trap yeah. Asian souls, and then they're just like do some Aurus. So I can just... And it's used for everything. Do yeah, it's like everything in Ravenous is there. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting this mixed up. But do we do we only have Aurusite in fourteen, or do we also have the other Magicite? Mag- do we have Nethysite, for instance? We do not have Nethysite yet, okay. to um, to my knowledge. No, that is not. We do not have Nethysite, but we do have Orosite. Okay, because the Sun Christ is uh, what was that again? Oh, I'm. Uh, was... Well, it wasn't. It wouldn't have been Nethysite. No, would it be Magic? No. Or was it, would it be... 
Mm, whatever it doesn't it matter was, but it was no it was a it was a big old or site wasn't it yeah it was like really powerful shit wasn't it was it? chaos's wasn't it yeah. wasn't it chaos's or site yeah which is why i think the sun crest is appearing because in the, in this raid because of what might have happened to the bagamnon yeah i mean if if the sun crest doesn't appear i'm sure some I, maybe bagamnon's or site whatever some there's gonna be or at the top for yeah, sure yeah. there has to be right um, anyways, uh, moving on. They wanted to have some callbacks to Final Fantasy XII and Tactics, but also not leave players that hadn't played either confused, out of the loop, or disconnected. Which was the problem with, I guess, the Omega thing. That's what a lot of people complained about there. Yeah. Didn't really get that com many complaints for Rabanaster. And I think they did a good job there, because it doesn't feel like they're out of the loop as much as they would probably feel in Omega. Because mm -hmm. uh, Omega is literally just referencing six uh just flat out while rabanaster sort of feels like they've made it their own a bit it's more along the lines of the crystal tower they didn't just copy paste something they actually tried to make it work somehow yeah it's integrated into the world i yeah. think that's the mm -hmm. that's the important part it's yeah. not just the tra the doom train yeah right it's yeah. very easy to get there though wasn't the ghost it? train yeah. for a guardian territory we just I mean, there's no guardians there, so... And then we're there. Yeah. Crystal Tower, at least, was the gar world beforehand, and you could see it. The guardians saw Hoshmal and were like... He's too hard. Okay, I'm gonna leave. This yeah. Is yeah. Fine. Pillar. yeah. It's ours, but it's like abandoned squatters can have them, whatever. <laughs> yeah. There's, yeah, there's still a lot about this that we just don't know and yet. Um, for instance, do we really know why they destroyed Rabanaster? Or have I already forgotten this plot line? Uh, wasn't it just because the Lukavi became a thing? Like, was that they the act... only reason why they did it? It's people were turning into monsters, only. man. <laughs> only. <laughs> people started turning into monsters. Yeah. You know, like, like, I don't think they wanted... I mean, what if, like, think about it this way, like, look at those three Sikhs that turn into chimeras yeah, and that's demons. True. That's true. That's like, imagine if you were in a full city of that, like, I would be leaving the fuck. That, that, <laughs> like, I would but, get out of there I mean, so fast. My initial reaction would be quarantine before well, they're in, destruction. I think, but, I, but I think in a sense, I mean, that is that kind of quarantine? They're, well, they're just a small city in a huge desert, too. That's true. Yeah, so they yeah. Know, like, it's, they're kind of already quarantined. It wasn't... Hmm. We, Obviously, we got there pretty easily on an airship, but I assume otherwise it's pretty damn hard to get there. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, it does seem like an airship only kind of area, or yeah, for, right. at least for access for yeah. whatever they did use at it. this period in time, at least. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So lore-wise, do you think it was? Hmm, was it always a desert though in the lore, or did it become a desert? I don't. I don't know if we know that. It. Wasn't that area always a big desert? Well, where is it? In twelve, it was, but it's but yeah, it's in between Doma and. Is it the burn Whatever. though, or is it somewhere oh, else? I don't know where it is. We don't really question know where mark, it is. Question yeah. mark, question mark. It's question mark, question mark, question mark. Even though, by the way, I'd like to point out our character would know exactly where it is because we didn't go in a coma while we flew there. Right, exactly. Like yeah, we watched dark, where we went. Yeah. Maybe it's just. I mean, like, I mean, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't know if it's like unknown territory. I wouldn't know. Okay. Like, oh yeah. Lukiel. Is... Lukiel. You want to know what our character could do for sure? Mm -hmm. And we're going north right now. <laughs> yeah. like that's that's yeah. you know like would he still know where that is though because they already see his maps are like if we, yeah, I mean, but, if we was, yeah but you would at least area. you would at least know like i went north from kugane so it was that north but from kugane, still that much Ra the royal I mean, city of I, but that's like we have we don't even know where we are in the slightest i know like at all <laughs> i know we could be on another continent for all i know <laughs> we may be that may be on ilsabard it's possible hmm? that would be crazy like, we don't I mean, know i feel like we should be on ilsabard I feel like it should be on. That, that's that's, why that's we're what I'm thinking. Question marks. Otherwise, it yeah, but at the same hard. time, on the frozen northern continent, feels a bit weird having a massive. Yeah, but void remember, of remember how big Ilsebard is. But remember just, how that is all north of Aldenard and Othard. There's like a portion on Othard that's clouded over, which could technically Aldenard be has part of only a desert like the Sigoli, right at the southern tip. Yeah. I would, I'd just be just as a geographical idea. I would be very surprised if there was well, a desert in Elsabard. But it'd be let's cool. Also, let's also remember that Elsabard is not actually the north of the planet. It's yeah. not cold. It's not cold because it's up north. Because there's way more we, north. Yeah, we've already that. sort of. We, well, we don't know what's 
further up. Which is the same. But, which, well, which, the Rogadin's home. Which is funny yeah. because we, when we looked at, when we talked about the theories in like two episodes ago, we looked at the Evil East map, and you guys were like, "Oh, but that's north. Uh, there's nothing up there." And it's like you. That's not. We don't know what's up there. That's the same reasoning we're doing right now. Just, just by the way, I'm just giving more credence to that theory. <laughs> just by the way, he's he's not gonna let it die. Yeah, I'm never gonna. I don't actually happen. know how you're connecting the two. I'm connecting but... it because you just said we consider Ilsabard north because that's north. There's nothing for us. That's not what there. I I know. I'm saying I'm saying a lot of people consider it north because it's cold. Oh. But there's way more north past well, I that. I consider that, it north because that's because not it's, why it's cold. It's north. <laughs> that's why I consider it north. Cartographers <laughs> in this game fucking suck. Yeah. Draw better maps. Uh, I, yeah, no, I'm actually interesting is going to that's sort I'm of. saying a completely different point. I'm basically saying because a lot of people see it at the top of our continent, they assume that's Antarctica. That's that's like the tip of Canada type of, oh, no, of thing, right? Because you see yeah. one set of things, but there's actually so much more north that we're not like, well, do you know? So much north. Haven't well, people already mapped out that? Because they they released they someone data mined the globe. I posted it in speakers chat. I think there's well, I mean, it would be the northern, northern it would be the northern empty and all that, right? There's yeah, still more the north, empty. but it's still north of us, so it must be colder. I think mm -hmm. the northern empty is mostly. Just islands? I have a feeling northern. I imagine islands. it's like I mean, ice sheets and stuff. Ha yeah. You think you think sea wolf Roganins just grew up on ice sheets, dude? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just <laughs> just floated around on cities. Yeah. Oh, I hope I don't fall through. Or, <laughs> yeah, man. I don't think they had the cities. Yeah. Water or food is totally un unnecessary. <laughs> just ice fishing. <laughs> just ice fish. Yeah, they love club the ice. seals, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they club the seals real good. Um, <laughs> You've never seen salt water in your life. <laughs> um i'm just okay so um yeah it doesn't um what were we talking about desert yeah sure. desert yeah desert can exist on ilsa bard i support that theory that there can still be a desert even though it is you know as north up as we know on the map on the known map ilsa bard is the absolute north but um yeah um there's like this again this tiny tip near the burn near the burn on mm. the map where there's just clouds over so that could be because mm -hmm. I'm, so I'm the connecting part yeah i guess because yeah. i'm assuming that the clouded part is literally clouding what's considered ilsabard on the world map mm -hmm. and we are just right. the Baltard see. And, and aldenard i mean i guess it's also possible well it could be i guess it could be like gar like an important garley and stuff too that they don't want to sh show off quite yet because yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think for a lore reason right that mm -hmm. why would I mean, I'm sure... Okay, so here's a question. Again, as, this isn't a spoiler for the Sora episode. The Sora episode isn't going to look at the map of Beorsia. Boom. Uh, but um, I, I'm i wondering, because the Eorsian map... I don't cover this in Sora. The Eorsian map was drawn but You know what? I'll, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it oh. for, for okay. the Sora. Um, okay. Um, stick around. Stay, stick around for that. Okay, let's move on. Yoshi P said... Final Fantasy XIV is meant to be a theme park where all the Final Fantasy games come together, so they decided to make it a bit of a new take on Ivalice and not just copy over Final Fantasy XII or Final Fantasy Tactics completely. And mm -hmm. can you do you hear that in the distance? It's it's the coffin of the uh, Ivalice Final Fantasy XIV theory being lowered into the ground. You hear it squeaking, squeak, squeak. No, dude, look, it's yeah. convergence theory. Spira is farther west. It's right there. Spira? Uh, yeah, Spira. so now it's called from 10. Spira. Spira. Yeah, yeah. This, I, said, I, I don't fucking yeah. listen. Um, yeah. Um, no. Uh, I guess that Same. more or less confirms it. Um, which, let's be honest, we all kind of already knew this. It is a theme it's park. Fine. Game. But it's they, fine. they did they did sort of try to make it like a weird thing and now he just flat out said it um one thing i want to say that when they say theme park which i have mixed feelings about um because i'm afraid they'll eventually just keep rehashing final fantasy stuff and not i mean their own thing it would be cool degree, to though, have didn't... an alliance raid that is yeah void arc you could say is you know unique and i liked well not void arc <laughs> i like the other ones uh which again you know, Ozma from Nine. You know, that's mm, I don't know. But uh, the thing that that bothers me is that when there's they have this theme park structure, like I'm, I feel like as riveting as the Evil East story is, when it's done, it is just done. 
mm. forever. No, because isn't specifically this way they said it was going to integrate into the main scenario too. That's I true. Doubt it. They I did. Doubt it, they did. That's, they, they said that. They did say that. that How are they? That it would. I thought push. they kind of had like a not. I thought they had kind of had a disposition towards putting they did, great yeah, but stuff and story in the same thing. Wasn't that why they said it though? That this one was going to be. Oh God, maybe I'm. No, they, I, it, I, so I, surely I, my memory isn't that faulty then. Yeah, I, I remember them saying that. And then I think it was around like 4.1 they mentioned something like that. Yeah, that's why we and... talked about the question mark map, all that. Because, you know, eventually mm -hmm. Ivalice might just end up revealing a part of Ilsebard or maybe mm. Ivalice or whatever the fuck. And it's just going to be a tiny hub world. Hub mm. world. Yeah. Uh, or maybe it'll just lead into 5.0 somehow, but yeah. still. You know, I'll admit one thing. And this is a very weird complaint. But this is this is those random times where you're like, it kind of sucks we have such an amazing hand-drawn map. Mm. Because it is so much harder to just uncover a piece when needed. Yeah. You know what uh, I mean? Opposed to like a, an actual like like a computer generated map or whatever. <laughs> like when you can actively take the fog of war away. Because yeah. like if they do, you know, go, actually, we've been in Ilsebar the whole time. This is where you are. They can't like they would have to draw a whole other map with all that artwork I, again or whatever, or at I, least edit parts of it. I'm going to assume uh, that the map is drawn. I mean, the map is drawn on a computer, but by hand. But I would right, assume right. that the clouds are on a layer and they mm. could just flip. And so you think they've drawn? So you think already they've drawn all the Ilsebard stuff? Uh, I think so as well. Yeah. I what think if, so. what if going into these new areas, they say, like explicitly in game, all the information we've had, is that going to say something? No, it's not. No. Okay. If all the information you've had on maps and such, they specifically say, this will draw from our perspective, but this is what the area actually looks like. And it's different than what we know because the origins aren't really allowed in those areas in the oh first place. My God. That mm. would be horrible and really confusing, I, but I kind mean, of compelling as well. It would have been like, don't like explicitly say, hey, we fucked up the maps. Just be like, oh, <laughs> mate, we weren't really sure. Just like an offhand comment or something. I mean, it's uh, hard to get maps of your enemies. That's no, there's no mm, doubt about that. Yeah, who knows? Maybe fucking Garleans have like actually been building fucking platforms and expanding their land area. Yeah, yeah. Artificial mm. islands, dude. It could happen. Yeah, they're Dubai in it. Yeah, <laughs> sick, dude. It'd be kind of weak, but I, I, I could, I could see them doing that. Like just actually updating what the area looks like mm. to not towards not what we think it is. Yeah. Um. We'll see. Um, they okay. So moving on, they felt like they might have asked too much of the development team, but also felt like there was no way it would be satisfying if they just did what had already been done before. They were also a bit nervous about it since it was a main numbered Final Fantasy title. Um, again, this is the thing they keep saying, like, oh, we're pushing them too hard. <laughs> oh, too much work is like okay. Well, it's getting a little bit old now, but I'll give them this. At least this content feels like they put a lot of effort in it. Raven yeah. Aster was amazing. So, mm -hmm. uh, compared to what came before. Um, yeah, second best, so. Yeah, well, yeah. Which, which one is your, I would assume, Mark is your we favorite? We consistent, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ozma was good. Um, yeah, uh, sure. It's, there's not much to say about that. It's just a thing that he said. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I it's why they were nervous about it being a main title. They've been pushing in things from all the main titles. Yeah, yeah. like Omega I, would have been nervous because they're putting Kefir. I, I, don't don't know. <laughs> I think they might be talking about the fact that they are working on 14, which is a main number title, or are they because it's well, weird. I, I interpreted oh, okay. it as more that they're like actually ripping, like they're not. They're not doing the Final Fantasy thing where you just put a boss of the same name or something, you know, because yeah. that oh, like yeah, people right. complain about that in this game, but that happens in every Final Fantasy yeah. game. So the, technically, you can't really complain about that, that's you know, just, like yeah, normal. That's kind of just Final Fantasy tradition. Yeah, yeah. Um, however, it's not very common that you just literally grab something out of one game and pop it in another yeah, one. And yeah. I think that might be more what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I suppose you can see what they mean, but I don't know. Well, it's, if it, it's, if, it, if if they have to be nervous to do this good content, then make them nervous. Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. it's hard to mash up a world that was made in the '90s Square era yeah. with the modern MMO world. So, I, for sure, it's that's work. I'll I'll, I'll give them that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and especially a title like Evil East, which has like a a big like a lot of people played Tactics in twelve, 
I, I would mm. I would assume that sort of adds to it. It's just not any numbered title. It's the Evil East universe. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, and especially because like when you play twelve or tactics, it's like not it. It, it feels so much different than a Final Fantasy game anyways. Yeah. Um, yeah. If it's a goddamn airship in that yeah. game. Yeah. You know, like there is not, it's which, so, it's very different, which, which I hate. Honest, that, it's yeah, absolutely I was terrible. Just about to say absolutely was, terrible. Yeah. You don't like that? I, oh, God, no. Dude, you want to fight Bahamut and you want to just actually, oh, wait, you can't fight Bahamut because he's an airship. I mean, I, I, she was a motorcycle. No, now well, you're, that's, that's 13. 13 but, that's a whole yeah, I know, but, other can of worms. That's, that's another time. <laughs> they've done. Yeah, that's another, that's another episode. But basically what I was saying is that like, that's such a different universe that people have like if you like tactics in 12 you're super into that lore yeah, yeah. so it's not like taking any lore it's not like popping x death in it's like popping something that has so much extra so many extra layers behind it and it's like tries to separate itself already mm-hmm. yeah yeah you know i mean not many final fantasy games or like the universes with them have that much spin-off as well right yeah yeah um, Except seven. So. Hey guys, we don't, talk, we don't talk about that here. In five point the raid will be blowing up the Mako reactor. That's the <laughs> oh my three. God, yes, Rolo, you're probably fucking that, right, dude. I, 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 you just say. you just said that, and you're probably right. I you we, know we're what? Gonna yeah. blow up a ceruleum reactor in Garland. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's gonna be called the wedge. it's gonna be called the Mako reactor with a C. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, it's we're actually, in a terrorist organization it's or whatever. Like, that French somebody with please, the little five underneath okay, it. Go. Right. Somebody please bookmark this date. And if this ever happens, well. If I was right, somebody get me a nice item off the lock station. Well, then I'll just basically be mad at Rolo because he made it happen. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I willed it. Okay. Um, Rabanaster was relatively easy to make since it was already featured in Final Fantasy XII, but Lesalia was just a name and a facade in Final Fantasy Tactics without any art, so they had to make something from scratch. They decided uh, that um, they decided that much, like if you were digging in Rome, you would find ruins, that digging down Rabanaster in a similar manner should find the ruins of Lesalia, which makes absolutely no sense, because huh? Lesalia existed before Rabanaster. So you should have been in Lesalia digging the, in the ruins of Rabanaster, right? Because the timeline is the other way around. Tactics was after 12, right? Or am I remembering the timeline wrong? Tactics is way after 12, right? Exactly, right? So it's the other way around. So it's wrong. <laughs> they made it mm-hmm. They made it wrong. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, um, uh, Lasalia was, uh, if I remember correctly, you see the gate? I think there's like a portion of this is very obscure, but I believe that there's a portion where you're at like a gate or very close to Lasalia. I think there's a gate mm. and you, I can't remember what you do there, but there's a, that's all you see of Lasalia. So they had to make Lasalia from scratch. Um, and apparently he was very happy with the result. Um, it, it, to him, it felt like the canon uh, Lasalia. So right. do you hear that? Someone's the casket's coming up again. Oh my god, the, the the theory casket is coming out of the ground. The the theory is alive again. I mean put it back even in the if, ground. Please. Even if it's wrong. <laughs> I, I love, I guess, the, I love I just, the silence. Everyone's like I also know I was reading chat because I realized I said older, but I meant like the city happens way later. It exists later in time. Not it's not an older city. I what are we talking I about? spoke wrong. What? I mix I confused people the way I said things. Oh but no, you said I, things. Okay. Yes, I said uh, things. Okay, so um, uh, yeah, but Lasalia was still before. No, sorry, right. after no. I just is... I said I said Lasalia was older, but I meant oh, obviously not. Feet yeah. farther in time, yeah. you know what I mean? Not like yeah, okay. Let's... Technically, I meant newer. Okay, <laughs> tactics is after twelve, by the way, in the timeline. That's yeah, what... I like. We said. Yeah, yeah. So, wait, so it's just... way tactics is way after twelve. Yeah, um... and then there's tactics advanced too. Don't forget that, guys. I don't even know where that comes into play. That's after, uh, and, va- and you got, and you got vagrant story, and you got, uh, yeah, there's, and you have, you have, uh, uh, revenant wings. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You don't even play that. Anime, yeah. anime, anime. Uh, yeah. Live letter predictions. Uh, live letter is coming up next week, um, and of course, um, we are going to co- oh should i mention what we're doing then cuz there maybe i'll save it for later i'll save it for after when we're yeah. ending the show okay uh, um so with the live letter coming up we are uh, 
more or less expecting um, them to show us heaven on high, right? Mm. I would assume so. I mean, they, they gotta. <laughs> what, yeah. It's uh, part two of the thing. Which, yeah, but sometimes they, they don't show everything. We're getting a trailer for sure. Did they um, show off Palace of the Dead in any depth? I can't really yes. remember. Yeah, they yeah, did. they did. I remember they did. They did. Mm -hmm. um, so it starts from level 61. We know that. Up to 70. Okay. Um, that's more... And there's some that grand summoning thing, which, you know, is a thing. That could be really cool. Yeah. Don't, I don't want to get too excited, but... And they for sure said that's in there, right? That was a the thing. They said that, that you can perform a grand summoning of some sort. Don't ask right? questions. Don't ask. The, don't. I don't know. <laughs> it means grand company confirm. summoning. You can summon your grand company. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, because I remember hearing grand uh, or uh, grand summoning. I was like, oh yeah, that's that's the thing from ten. Yeah, um, it is. Yeah, um, I'm. I don't know. I'm guessing the grand summoning. Do you think they'll still have palmenders and grand summoning? Or oh, I hope so. I could I see them dropping palmenders. Palmenders are so OP. No, we need palmenders. They must be nerfed. <laughs> I, I could see nerfed. them doing something else, maybe. Mm. I hope there's a similar system. Yeah. I want them kind of to have new fun. Pomander's. I want it all to be new. I love new stuff. I don't want to see Pomander of Inquisition or whatever. Ah, Pomander you don't want to see Pomander's of Rage? Because that's like the most fun thing ever. Yeah, it's ben, fun. Oh. But I want this one to be even more fun. Remember, I want it to be Pomander's of Mega Rage. Remember, you want to turn it into Alteroid and start eating oh, people? Gotcha. <laughs> remember when a Pomander of Rage was so OP you could just use it at the boss? Oh, remember when you could just use it at the feast? That was my favorite. Oh, yeah, that was the thing. Oh, <laughs> when people just use it at the feast? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, my one God. My, one of my that. favorite Gosh, Final yeah. Fantasy clips of all time is a dude walking into the feast using a witching pomander. Everyone turns into imps and frogs, and then he oh pops a rake and one shots every single one of them. It's so I fun. I forgot about that. that. Was, I forgot that. Did we get banned? Oh, yes, big time. <laughs> That was a good time in there. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Good. yeah. Um, okay, so there's the mystery <laughs> trial, too. So yes. we've been very on. For our initial reaction was, it has to be Cenos, uh, which I still hope. But which, of course, I'm everyone thinking maybe him. hopes that that has to be him. But, a lot of the community have been talking about it being Yotsuyu in the mirror and mm -hmm. something happening. I mean, that's, I don't want that. Would be interesting, I guess. Well, it would be nice to kill her. Yeah, it would be nice to kill her, mm, but I just yeah. don't care about her anymore. No. <laughs> Ever since she did the cute thing, she's just boring now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Yeah, it would be cool. Someone, uh, I, and I don't think this is the case, but I just realized the other day that what what if they just fucking introduce, because we're getting Hildebrand too. What if this is another Hildebrand trial with an extreme? Oh <laughs> that would be God. the no, biggest no. plot. That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> oh, no. I hope it's a star related thing though. What it's yeah, like that means I won't be able to do it for, for months. Yeah, you still haven't I'm, done Battle in the Big Keep. Shame. I'm very much doubting that though, because I don't think they'll ever make an extreme no, for they would. Well, I mean, it's side for... story. I mean, side story is side story, right? It doesn't really. Uh, we have extreme primals and side stories. Like, Biako is technically a side story. Yeah, yeah but are they, are, they, was made. are they two years of side stories, though? That's true. That is a <laughs> There's a lot one. of prerequisites. Four so. years of side stories, I guess, yeah. is more accurate. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I, I think I, that's I, the main reason why that is out of the question. <laughs> but to be fair, they also could just introduce a jumping in point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They could, I guess. Where you could jump in right before the quest or whatever. Yeah. So, I, I don't, still don't think it is, but it's Maybe possible. it'll be tied to uh, the e release raid. Who knows? Whoa. No, not uh, if, if this was. The I last, doubt it. If this was the last leg of the uh, like last tier of that raid, I would have been like, oh yeah, maybe. What if? But <laughs> and now we kill Ramza. Yeah. Finally. What if for uh to get into the next next raid, whatever, uh -huh. uh, the fucking lighthouse, you have to do the trial right before it. Mm. Be cool. I mean, I I'd be okay that. with that. I, I doubt it, but that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. It would be a cool idea. I would definitely like be on that airship that. over. You do the trial, and then when you get there, you do the raid. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It'll be the Colosseum on it. Guys, imagine if Yasmat was the trial. Oh. And that's what gets you in. Oh. Now we're now we're just yeah. That would be cool though. <laughs> um, but we're also getting Eureka. Um, Hooray! The name I always forget. Didn't even put down in the show notes. Eureka. Some, something p something p pagos yeah. pagos let me to remember yeah. it uh which is ice uh yes. looked really nice when they showed it yeah, yeah very looks, much like uh, cool. pvp map but we'll see <laughs> <laughs> yeah too many shatter memories but still um it's it's yeah 
Um, not much to say. They, they did say that there would be new stuff in added here, but I can't really imagine what they would add um, right now. I hope, of course, that they add dailies and stuff. Mm, that's they, yeah, if in my personal opinion, I think this is Eureka's make or break moment. So for you, I for would, me, it's I would a, agree. For I me, think, so I think I'm Eureka's happy with fine. That. It's yeah. it's just if, if to win over uh, Rollo, they'd have to add some really. But, okay, yeah, yeah, it's it's me personally, but I do think that like if if they don't do some good changes here, then it I I've lost hope for it because I want it to be good. I think no, it's, I. It's cool. I I actually totally agree with you, Rolo, because I'm like, even me, like, I'm starting to get into Eureka. I mean, I have most of the relics done now. I'm almost completely done with, with Animos now. And you're starting to get into Eureka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, and I'm starting to get into Eureka, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but I couldn't do this for another uh, year and a half. <laughs> yeah. Not a chance. Well, not a chance um, to do it for another year and a half. I would want to die. I see what you mean. Um, I'm such a tool. I, think I would the, do it anyway. The main I would part do it anyways, of too, Eureka right? that I don't like is the leveling side of it. The grinding is yeah. okay, but the leveling... Uh, totally, yeah. Now, do you guys think... That's like actually a good question. Do you guys think that we're going to have to level from zero again, or do you think it's going to be like a 20 to 40 thing? I really hope we don't have to do any leveling, yes. That would be I would yes. like that as well. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's also a possibility. I would, no more. I would probably assume they would add like another 10 levels. I feel like mm. they would do that. That sort that's of why it's slightly so segregates low. the community on it, though. Yeah. But then what if it's just because it's a new area? They're like, you're not attuned anymore. Uh, I'm I'm, I am, I'm assuming uh, all of that because I'm always assuming the worst. I don't think we'll be attuned to anything. I don't think we'll we won't use etherites until a certain high level. I think all of that's going to happen in, I think in the, the mount thing's going to be the same thing. Oh, like, you yeah, can't mount sure. until thirty seven. But I think uh, maybe yeah. the leveling won't be like twenty, maybe just ten up. I don't like know. Ten I think more levels. Ten more levels or something like that. I mean, surely, because leveling is part of the Eureka content. So unless they yeah. change the recipe entirely, I mean, yeah, I they kind of have, have it. You're right. Yeah, ten levels then is all right. I can do ten levels. I Twenty would be okay. So what if it's ten that are twice Even as long? Even if it's though. like, yeah, so they, well, they just crank up the exp. Yeah, yeah. Well, they probably yeah, would to be honest. Yeah. Depends on the exp mm. curve, I guess. But also, I think if they don't address the kind of early starting parts of Eureka, like in the old area. Like how that's going to be handled with new areas and how newer people will get into it. Mm -hmm. I think that's also going to be a huge failing of uh, Eureka in general. Yeah. I mean, they've started to address that with the solo XP buff. It's not that bad anymore. So if they just keep increasing that a little bit at a time. Also, remember that this map is now being made or being the content that's coming up is coming after this one so they've already seen the mm -hmm. feedback from the normal eureka yeah. so i would assume that at least some of the concerns have been addressed in the next one i'm, and, I'm hoping i want it to be good guys i don't want to be the eureka negative guy they're also, i promise <laughs> they're also adding stuff to animals with uh 4.3 to connect it to the next mm. one which mm. could maybe also be more adjustments one can hope mm -hmm. Um, I mean, they gotta adjust it. Like, how are you gonna kill Pazuzu when there's ten people in the zone? Right, right. So it's far, though, I, I'm still so. gonna be hearing. Is, hearing from is Pazuzu adjusted for your party as well, or is that? Oh, he doesn't it's adjust. I mean, even, them, does does I mean, even even if so, how are you gonna kill wraiths with, with yeah, a few people? Yeah. They yeah. like one shot you. Even with one healer, one DPS, one tank, it's gonna take you eight years to kill thirty wraiths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, uh, like I said. They got to make some changes and some pretty, some pretty big ones for uh, Eureka to be for me for, for me to consider it a good side content, right. good piece of side content. Yeah, we'll see. Um, now, one of the dudes that are attending the Q and A, I just want to jump to. The, there's no point talking about the Beast Tribe. Beast Tribe is the fish people. Oh yeah, well, there's the emote. Chicken dance. The chicken dance. We don't know if it's if it is actually the Beast Tribe. But I would be it's very. Be. It has to be. Yeah, it would be very strange if it wasn't. So uh, it looks Check like the who's dumb enough to give that to you? A it, fish. It's but really Hildebrand. annoying because it starts. Oh, it could be Hildebrand. But I'll just want to say what's annoying about it because it starts out like the chicken dance and then it just doesn't do it. It just does this and then it just does this. It's That's not the chicken dance. dance. The dance. Why didn't they just make the chicken please dance? Please show some respect to Namazu culture. Uh, I don't, they're fish. Yeah, please. please, please, please. They're catfish. Um, what, next you're going to eat them so they don't have souls or what? Yeah. I would eat them raw. <laughs> I would watch him talk to me as I ate him. He'd be like, hello, <laughs> sir. And I'd be like, hello. Cut <laughs> his uh, whiskers off. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> God. We should have talked about this when we talked about Return to Evil East, but um, there's like a QA and a uh, in this live letter with <laughs> Woolhead. Uh-huh. And I I think... For the, I, we already <sighs> knew that the forums were were a special place. Everyone in the community, I, 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 but I at least thought they knew how to read. Personally, no. I thought they could understand so, like reading. What happened, they tried their best. What, what happened? Did they? I don't think they tried even remotely. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was they made a topic, and it literally says Q and A with Woolhead. I've completely forgotten his name, but it says his name. Uh, it's Yasumi Yasumi Matsuno. Yasumi Matsuno. Yeah, it's on the overlay. Yeah, so. Um, it says that that's the topic, literally the topic. So send in your questions to this guy. Like the first one is an actual question to him, and then like for the f- next ten replies, they're just completely random questions <laughs> about the game. It's just like I want to. There's one that just I I still remember. I want um when I'm out with my role play link shell. I want I want it. I want people to see that we're stargazing. That's a what good does, one, though. What That's does good. that mean? I don't even know. What, for this since what day do one. you want? I don't know what that means. Do you want your character to look up? Because you can kind of do that already. Mm. Yeah, but I want to have a special star symbol. That's kind of side only. Stargazing, so, I, I didn't know if I don't know if it means like an emote or uh, a, 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 like an icon or an effect i don't know and but Nikhil it's... and i actually we went way too deep into it that one day <laughs> we we're like do they mean like yeah. lying down like <laughs> yeah. do they mean like they can lie on their back because i agree that should be an emo but <laughs> yeah it's it's uh, yeah so that's just one of if you haven't already i would um recommend going and checking that out for a good laugh and also lose all faith in humanity when you read that because mm-hmm. Ha- ha- more than half of those replies are just about everything else. Yeah, I mean, that's always an every Q and A thing, though. But and not for everything. Not this many. This yeah, was an alarming <laughs> amount. Listen. There needs to be like a tag. It's like if you're from Balmain, you're not allowed to have a qu- ask a question because it's going to be a really stupid question. Yeah, it doesn't need to be asked by anybody. <laughs> Listen, if you guys have ever, anyone in the chat, anyone on YouTube has ever been an anime convention and they've been to like any QA panels, you know, you've already lost your faith in humanity. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll change what I said. Okay, you, there needs to be a weeb tag where if you're a weeb, you're not yeah, allowed to ask okay. questions. There you go. Sorry, guys. There you go. <laughs> so that was. Um... The live letter, which is taking place on May the twelfth. Yeah, I'm excited. Yes, yeah, a week from now, a week from today. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I do. On the Friday. No, it's, I, on, I it's on the eleventh. S- Sorry, eleventh, eleventh. It's on May eleventh. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I do have a feeling that the majority of the live letter is gonna end up being a drunken. Oh, woolly, so. Very woolly I stream. swear to God, if there's a wine glass on that stream, <laughs> I'm going to tilt. You expect there not to be. I don't expect. He's going to show gonna his be, phone. It's going to be hundred dollar wine and cigarettes and all just, day. And he's just gonna <laughs> that's show all us, that's their life. He's just going to show us his phone. Like, look, look at this. <laughs> he's um, going to be like, guys. Uh, not only I, this time, I took a picture of my phone, and now I'll show yeah. you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I it's love that it's a Polaroid of his phone. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Polaroid of my phone of the raid of my computer. Yeah, it's it's so cute. It feels like an old man just trying to show me pictures of his kids. Like, oh, I I made this. Yeah. Yeah. He he whips out his unfolds his wallet. Of, of yeah, wallet, pictures falls down. He pulls one out. He's like, this is I, this is I, this is evil. I made this gear set, and <laughs> this is the next one. Oh, the, do you think they'll talk about the phone uh, companion app more here? Oh, well, I'm oh, sure they will. Yes. They will. Sure they will. Oh, yeah. Ready to lose hope even more, and mm. maybe they'll even talk about the future of Google Coins, was it? Yeah. There was some extra stuff. Is that, is that a new crypto? Is that a new crypto? <laughs> Stop mining Moogle Coins. Talk to you about there Moogle crypto. Coins, Coupo Nuts. They're going to cover all of it. Half, 50% of the light. <laughs> Go mine some Nut Coins. Um, it's- what was their- <laughs> <laughs> was there hashtag nutgate right oh my god yeah yeah yeah. anyways sure. okay just so we can finish that um they're probably going to cover the 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 app they might even show us again some more of how it works remember when they tried to show it the first time it didn't work that was just hopefully yeah. was such a sign pedal a little bit on some things it'll be interesting to see i don't know what the yeah. response has been in, in japan but generally they just eat that shit up so i don't know if uh, yeah I don't know if I don't been any think backlash. they will backpedal, but no. 
the maybe forms, the forms were on fire after the by the way just in the wake of that announcement we didn't address that at all but like the official forums were aflame uh and so was reddit i guess but like yeah and then it was funny to see because there were like people that were against it and then there were very clearly people that were for it and mm -hmm. there were just it was i would everyone should just watch just go to the official forums one day and just just enjoy just Look at the marvels that you find. Too frustrating. Can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> just I. I listen. I just I gotta ask some people. Like yeah. What? Why do you gotta defend companies? Like yeah, it's kind of weird. It's it's just how people but are, man. Like not, people get attached to things and they're not okay. going anywhere. We've already been the, negative. The corporation. We've already we've already said what people we defend Sonic. Sonic's I good. Can. Minimum my level, guys. We need to move on. <laughs> Okay. Um, so now for a quick break before before we do um, the great discussion about we're actually running out of time, mentors and the novice network that's going to get heated, of course. So uh, before that, <laughs> we have to look at our run of minimum my level, which was far as serious hard. Um, the wheel of doom gave us uh, no uh, off the global cooldown abilities and skills, so that was fun. Um, far as serious was hev heaven's word dungeon. Sorry, a burp. <laughs> Um, and, um, that's all we have to say about for serious. Cause uh, I, you just have to see how that went. <laughs> Cause it was we, great. there's a specific, there's a very, uh, confusing theme that we decided to make for ourselves here. <laughs> so just enjoy this and we'll be back after this and we'll discuss, min not minimum my level. We'll discuss, um, novice network and mentors. Enjoy. <laughs> That was minimum my level. We are running out of time, so let's. Hey, Mugmail, uh, let's 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 read the first one, um, which is coming to us from. By the way, the show notes are all over the place. Babaram okay. Bibaram from Fair. Way back, we were introduced to the Warriors of Darkness. The whole scenario seemed to imply that our quest to rid the world of primals may not be as beneficial as once thought, and could in fact spell doom for Eorzea. Do you think? That this plot point will be revisited in the future. God, you are oh, so yeah. right, Beberum, Biberum, or whatever you yeah. Beberum, Beberum. You joined her IFC Beberum. recently. Beberum. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're so right. That was such a good bit of the plot. And then they were like, it's done now. Mm. I was very I, short, unfortunately. Yes. I it definitely think it's going back. You, personally, I think it's going to come back at the end of the game. Yeah, yeah. It's foreshadowing almost. Yes. I think that's going to be like a are... clever foreshadowing that they put in. And then we'll right. be like, in, in five years, we'll be like, oh my god! Uh, it's, it's gonna be like, if you kill Zodiac, then you kill everything! Yeah, no, and that's darkness actually, no, and light! That's oh. actually a fact, yes. Yeah. If that happens, we're yeah. completely screwed. Like, that's, that's a... I've, I've thought so much about this, because um, I think they're starting to sow the seeds of post-Garlean story. I mean, mm -hmm. they're not gonna, like, get real into it, but I think those are, like, the little crumbs of mm. what the actual full story of the world is. Yeah. yeah is that we're actually probably not the greatest person in the world because we're doing exactly what the Warriors of Darkness did. Even And we're, like, aware we're doing it and everything. Yeah. Mm. But we're still doing it. Yeah. And it's, like, what the thing is, is we can't win and the Asians can't win. It needs to be forever equal, forever balanced, yeah. or else dark overtakes light and light overtakes dark, yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what's going to happen? If... At the end, when we're at the end of the life cycle, and and Zodiac comes around and we beat him, mm -hmm. we look around and say, "We fucked it up." And what do we do now? We have to become Zodiac. <laughs> oh, so there can be a balance between the light but, and the dark. And then we have to start fighting all the nice things, like we just get to limp and massacre <laughs> everyone. Oh, trying yeah. to balance. Yes. We get to like relive Horsefawn's death, but we get to throw the spear. And like, yeah, oh, yeah. Dude. yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, um, first of all. You're saying that the ne expansion after Garlemald is going to be the conclusion of the storyline. No. no, 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 it's no, going to go on a bit longer. Right. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There's. They're getting. They're putting the seeds for what the story will be become after Garlemald. Right. Or right. maybe not even after Garlemald, but but like um, I think this. Well, because to put it in simple terms for people who play eleven. This is like I think this is sowing the seeds for our rhapsodies of Anna Deal. Mm. Right? Do you think like, they're gonna our... end it the same way? Like in the oh no, no, yeah, no, no, no okay, but I mean, no, no, like, no, no. Yeah, like it's it. it's yeah. it's it's sowing seeds for the final actual conclusion right. of the whole story. Yeah. Um and because... I and I think we'll talk about this in probably a couple expansions. 
um like once we've settled the garlean stuff but i think you think so you think that once the garlean stuff ends the asian thing is going to happen i yes i do believe so it that's that's, that's i think 5.4 is when we're going to see that so wait hold that's on specifically sure. that kind of yeah I, I can see that like so wrapping th- up the garlean stuff yeah so you think mm-hmm. the rhapsody of eorcia is going to occur in 6.0 no it could be I don't like know when a couple it's expansion long thing. Mm. Right. I'm just saying remember that they're on the moon, so how are yeah. we gonna get there? By the way, the moon I am pretty sure grew, right? After or it became more visible in the sky after that one cutscene when they were standing on the moon. Because if you look at the moon now, it was never this like visible. That. Go out mm. now. If you haven't looked at it, just go out now. Just look up because it is very visible now, and I think they it's did very that detailed purpose. too. Yeah, very like, detailed. You can see the craters. It's, yeah. it's very like in, oh, in, it feels physical. I believe before the moon was just kind of lit up. It was just like this lit up thing where you can like mm. see the faces of the moon. But now mm-hmm. it's more just big and visible. You can see the craters, as Rollo just said. So it's way more detailed than it used to be. Mm. Mm. Um, which gave me, of course, Dala mood flashbacks. Um, maybe they're just doing it again. Maybe that's the conclusion that Zodiac <laughs> crashes no, 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 into no. Hydaelyn. That would be because you know Zodiac Moon. It's, yeah, hmm. I don't get that. Um, I mean, d- dude, they it's even it even says so online. We did some research because I wanted to get into the bottom of this. Zodiac keeps being mentioned in lore as being the moon. Yeah, because it was it cast can... out and of Hydaelyn or away from Hydaelyn and just bound as a a moon. So it's and... so confusing though, because like that would be that would mean that like Zodiac's way tinier. He's like way less powerful. Yeah, but he is. Though. I mean, the moon is still pretty big. No, well, if he was no, but if he if he if he wasn't if he was always less powerful, then no, Hydaelyn would have already he, fallen apart. He wasn't initially, right? Initially, they were the same. And then, well, because they're reflections of each other. Yeah, yeah. but then Zodiac got too greedy or whatever, and then they they broke apart, they shattered, and all that. We all got all the fucking shards and all that shit, fucked mm-hmm. everything up. And he and he was the he was the reason why it happened. And I think Hydaelyn did this to him, right? So she mm. fucked him up, made him a moon. I don't know if she made him a moon, but he became the moon nonetheless. I think, and mm. that's the story. I think, and that's why they're on the moon. That's that also confirms why they're on the moon, right? Because it's Zodiac. Why else would they be on the moon other than? Why? Yeah, I always thought it was. I thought it was more of a symbolic thing, to be honest. Like I thought they like, like the representation of Hydaelyn was was the the planet, and the representation of the moon was Zodiac. But actually, not. That's not. Wait, like, Menfina, I, don't, I don't think them as oh God. physical bodies. Maybe See, it's an egg. Is Menfina? Menfina is. Um, we're doing this live. <laughs> Maybe the conclusion is much like real life. We all think it's magic, but then we realize that it's not. And it's just, just that's it. Okay. Mm. So the arc, no an embodiment of darkness, once existed along his opposite Hydaelyn in perfect harmony. But his desire for power broke the balance and he was banished to the heavens as a lunar body. This action also shattered the world into 13 mirror images, each of which contained a shard of the source. Hmm. So he is a lunar body. The Asians, Zodiac's servants, work to make their god whole again by removing these barriers around the source and weaken Hydaelyn's influence, whom they consider corruptive. To this end, the Asians engineer the rejoinings, a period of cataclysmic turmoil known to the history as the Umbral Eras. One, uh, each one strengthening Zodiac. The fall of Dalamud at the end of the sixth astral era marked the seventh rejoining. Menfina. Just thirteen, right? Mm-hmm. To yeah. Um, let me let me Google Menfina because I know Menfina was the moon that Dalamud circled around. Now the question is: Does Eorcia have more moons? So or, wait, or there was we, a, we only have one moon right yeah, now. Yeah, but is that our moon that we're seeing now then? Because it suddenly became yeah. so visible. Yeah, I would assume so. Conspiracy <laughs> theory grow. Um, <laughs> Pretty sure it's the same. <laughs> it just like popped the one moon out of the sky. It just like well, it shooted aside and took its place. <laughs> well, then we don't again. have two moons now. We don't have two moons now, so it would have to so be the same it, moon. Would it be weird though that Menfina was Zodiac? 
because they've just called the moon Menfina. We called yeah, they called Dala Mood Menfina's think, loyal hound, I, and then suddenly it just came crashing down and was Bahamut. I think you're taking things a little too literally. It says so on the internet. Yeah, but okay, which and is, it also says which, and it all, it, which it also is the greatest say, source. Please clip that. They also constantly say that Hyland is a star and Hyland is a planet, so, not so, a star. Wait, hold on. Let, so, let's just get this. Let's just get this straight. You are so the Axians appear on the moon. The moon is suddenly very visible in the sky. This wiki tells us that Zodiac is a lunar body, and yet you still insist that Zodiac is not the moon. But because I don't believe he's a crystal in the moon. But like, Hydaelyn I don't think is a crystal how... in a fucking planet. Sort of, but that's like, you're like not even in the planet. You're not like a different dimension. He doesn't have to be in the planet. Do you, like, do you, the live stream isn't like a physical place that you go visit in California. The live stream is like a whole other dimension. I don't think like this is the same yet, thing. Yet we consider you know? Hydaelyn to be Hydaelyn. No, I yeah, but I don't. I mean, I consider Hydaelyn to be in the li- like in the live stream. You don't see her just by like. So Hydaelyn is just in the galaxy. She could be anywhere. So people on Mars I, be like, sure, "This is Hydaelyn." Sure. I don't even think she's in the same <laughs> world Mars. as us, dude. I don't think she exists in the same. She does. Like, she does not exist in the same reality. She's as not us. like the core of the planet. We all know that. But she. Right. She. If we are to make sense of anything, we have to tie them to the celest the 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 celestial bodies that we have, which. In our case, is Hydaelyn is Hydaelyn, and it says so that okay. Zodiac became a lunar body. I'll put, it, I'll, I'll put it this way: I feel like that might just be them trying to explain it because, believe it or not, in real life, real life, uh, Venus isn't actually the goddess Venus. You right, know, exactly. Mars isn't the goddess. Which is Mars. what I said. Like, I think, the Orsians just named yeah. the moon Menfina. Yeah, but I could also that's not Menfina. I can also sky. see them doing that with, like, the, I could see like anybody doing that. With yeah, anything, but no one has right? named a moon Zodiac. That's what I'm saying. There's no moon called Zodiac. That's yeah, we I, need to move yeah, on. Yeah, we probably should. I think, probably the, should. I, think, <laughs> I think the next one this is, is kind of linked. Thank you. It was a very good question. Thank you very much. Good thing. Uh, is this the one from Jome from Mateus? Oh. Uh, yes, the night sky in AORC is one of my favorite things in 14, and it always tends to draw my attention while traveling around the zones. It's seriously one of the most beautiful things that the game has to offer. Are the are there established constellations or any lore detailing which um, uh, with dealing with the night skies on Hydaelyn, aside from the de- descent of Dolomit, of course. P.S. If you guys ever need pad for time out to minimum my level, you could always go make up your own constellations. <laughs> sure, I'll, <laughs> sure. Got one answer for you: uh, astrology. Go play the yeah. astrology quest. Go play. Uh, what's yeah, that's... very interesting is that yes, we have constellations, and if you do the uh, astrologian quest, you'll see them. And but you can still see them a- after the quest. Yeah. Um mm-hmm. they are there. And they the... started appearing in Heavensward, right? Like that was when they put them in the sky. No, no we did research on this. They've one, been there actually. since 1.0. Mm. Because that's mm. one of the first things they made for uh, uh, the game was to, f- to complete the constellations. That's so strange because I remember when I was like in he- like when I was in a realm reborn, I didn't notice any of them. Like yeah. I didn't notice the purple and green stars and all that. Mm-hmm. But then as soon as I got to Heavensward, I was like, oh yeah, I nice see them. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know what blocked in my brain that when, during A Realm of Born, I did not notice the constellations. No. I all. mean, they're not very visible. They're not, you kind of have to look I don't for know, them man. a bit. Like, in the Astrologian the Quest, they are very visible, but because of course they sure. outline them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they, you can see them. They have different colors. There's purple, which is, I can't remember them all, but they're, some of them are, I know Lim Lane is one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the Astrologian cards are there, like... Um, the bowl, I think, is there. All of them. Tower all of them. is every there. Is every yeah, yeah, everyone, yeah. Every single one. And more. And more. And more. The whole deck of the whatever is yeah, there. Deck of whatever. Um, so yeah, go look at the night sky. There are constellations. Yeah. So to those yeah. that They're requested that on <laughs> on the forums too. Now you have actually something to look after when you're stargazing. <laughs> look for the constellations. You know what? Actually, if they want to roleplay scar- stargazing, they should just they should go play Astrologian Quest. Hunt. They should, yeah. I know. That's like the closest you're ever going to get. Like you actually like look at stars, point at them, and then you talk about them. Yeah, you know. yeah. Stargazing Club and of Eorzea, guys. We're starting that yeah. every Wednesday, 7 okay. p.m. Okay. Rolo, you will be in charge of that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go to Hermit's Hovel and we'll meet you there. We'll yeah, be right yeah. there. Meet me in Hermit's Hovel, right guys. There. You know why. You know where. You Bring Gil. Um, but come alone. Come alone. Come alone. Bring Gil and towels. <laughs> come alone. And one um, at a time. Okay, next question here, and probably the last one. 
this is from Thank Chuvak Nun or C. Huva. Is this C. Huvak from, from the chat? In Old Gridania, there's a chocobo stable by the Botanist Guild. My question is, is this a 1.0 relic or just production design? Love your show and keep up the good work. Yes, sir. I forgot to do research for this. I read it and I was like, I'm going to go check it. Um, I, I know for a fact that it's, oh it's, I mean, most of the stuff you find in Gridania are relics from 1.0. But um, if you're asking if that was the original Chocobo stables in 1.0, that is incorrect. That is not from uh, the, the, the actually, uh, the um, Chocobo stables are in the exact same place uh, as they were in 1.0. I think that is actually the only city state where the Cho no and, and Uldar. Limsa was the only one they moved for some reason. In old in Limsa, the Chocobo stables used to be, um, you know, in Bulwark Hall when you go to the stairs that lead up to the Drowning Wench. Right before you go in there, to the left, that's where the Chocobo mm -hmm. stables used to be. So they just moved yeah. into the outside for some reason. Uh, so no, that is not a relic. Or is it? Uh, anyway, we, it actually could be. Yeah. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> if, if it was there in one point it's so. technically a it was, one point oh relic. So it was not. It was not the damage? functioning. Yeah. It was not the functioning I, choke. Mode I'm just assuming that was the question. Yeah. Okay. Now we need to talk about something uh, important because next week's going to be a bit different. Um, so as I said in the previous episode, uh, and as you all know, live letter. The live letter takes place uh, on the 11th, uh, which means we would have to do coverage of the live letter on the Saturday but unfortunately on the 12th which is that Saturday that's also the day of Eurovision or the final of Eurovision the grand final um, which meant that we would potentially not be able to cover that however we have come to a solution the podcast will air on Friday May 11th normal time se uh, seven, oh god 7 p.m. GMT 12 p.m. PDT Friday, but fret not if you don't if you don't make it to the podcast, the podcast will play in rerun. It will rerun on Saturday, 7 p.m. GMT, 12 p.m. PDT. However, if you want to watch Eurovision and our coverage of Eurovision, you can watch that instead on Saturday uh, at 7 p.m. GMT, 12 p.m. PDT. You just have to join our Discord channel, and you will get a link. So you can watch it with us. Secret hidden links. Secret hidden. It will be a full show. We'll do. We'll have a super bingo secret. sheet. We'll have a scoring. We'll do all. I'm of gonna it. be. I'm gonna be singing. I'm gonna be entering for Canada. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be amazing. I'm gonna. I shouldn't have said that. I'm gonna. I don't even know what to expect. So. I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear a suit. I'm gonna be. I'm, it's gonna be a spectacular evening. So make sure to same. catch that. Um, what did you just say? It's the same. 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 Wear a suit. Oh yeah, you're gonna wear a suit. Yeah, of course. I'm going to dress up like the old man who always looks nervous, even though he's a billionaire who owns it. Yeah, <laughs> I love him. I can never remember his name because like Danish or something, but I love him. We're gonna make this very exclusive, so the link will only be posted on our Discord exclamation Discord in chat to join Discord. Uh, there'll be like an own chat uh, thing that will pop up when the day comes where I'll post the link and the scoring thing and the bingo card and all that. So you have everything ready before the big day. So much hype, the big day. The big day. It's a big day for Europeans. It is a big day. <laughs> um, okay, uh, that's it. Uh, we are now going to face into the post show, but the first a little break. So- um, Oh, no, we're not, because we need to pick the minimum item level. Good. Minimum oh. item level. Oh, by the way, know, the other that. day, uh, this fell again, as it usually does, um, and the lid fell off, and one note fell out, and I'm like, this, whatever's on this note is just a divine intervention. It said Orem Vale. It was the Orem Vale <gasps> note. Wow. I almost fainted. <laughs> I almost fainted. Okay. Yikes. Place your bets. Um, <clears throat> Say the uh, wall. wall. Grubel. Grubel. Have we, <laughs> have we done great Google normal? Uh, no. Nope. Um, so that's my guess. That's Pretty a hard, hard one at minimum my level. Yeah. That's a really hard dungeon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you say, um, Rollo? Uh, Bailster's Wall. Bailster's Wall. Milo? Brave Flock's hard. Come on. We are going to, and I'm going to say Orem Vale as usual. Maybe I should say something else. I'm going to you say. Might get it right. <laughs> I'm going to. Br oh, yeah. What if I pull Orem Vale now and the, the yeah, one time I so don't annoyed. say it? No, I have to say Orem Vale. Damn it. Okay. Here it is. <laughs> Here's. 
This is our destiny. It's kebab. It's a no. And kebab? Oh, I'm the keep. Mm. Mm. Ah, that's gonna be right. stupid easy. What's the spin the wheel? I fucking hate it. I, that's I, gonna be so easy. Mm. Oh yeah, someone suggested a change to the wheel. Oh, oh, yeah? Or an addition to the wheel. I'm okay with that. Is it, is it deleted? I'm gonna, is it deleted? So, is it the wheel? do we want to delete like something? I think we can no delete the wheel. cure only no heal and replace it with this. Yeah, really. So I thought it was very, it was a very good idea. Mm. So here's the thing: you can uh -huh. have everything on. I'm gonna finish this there, <laughs> because it was a very good one. They, they, they. You can keep all everything. Everything is fine, but you have to do it without the HUD. So you have to remember where everything what? is. Um, oh, no, 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 no. oh yes. No, 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 no. Everything on the so wheel hard. is rough according to you guys. That's, Jesus that's Christ. Easy I can't play it as I want to. Yeah. That's the whole I point of the wheel. One button anyway. Yeah, and and all I have to do is like if I hear shink, I'm like, okay, I can use <laughs> yeah. abilities now. Yeah. Like that's that's it. Yeah. Oh, this is unfair. Oh. Okay. So only no left side gear is a small one now. Okay. okay. Three, God, two, so one. Spin the wheel. We need some music. Come on. Here's you go. Here's you go. Here's you go. Here's better than yours. Damn oh, right. Oh, I'm scared, <laughs> pants. <laughs> First person only. Oh. Okay. 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 That's going to be interesting. That's going to be very strange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Avoiding AoE is going to be hellish. Isn't that the one that has all the fucking... Oh, wait, no, it's Andapori. Okay, never mind. Let's yeah, all fight VR headsets before. <laughs> okay, let's... Well, that's interesting. <laughs> How's that going to look like on for, for viewers? Terrible. I don't know. Awful. It's going to look awful. awful. This is going to be. Just, like aim the camera at the action all the time. It, it'll be a test. It'll be a test of the system. And, and we're going to have to be like, uh, oh, is that an AOE? Yeah, that's an AOE. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like pan the camera. Yeah, we'll be able to look down every time. It's going to be great. So I look forward to that. That's tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, uh, 11 a.m. PDT, one hour before podcast usually oh, airs. God. So see you then, uh, but stay tuned because in the post show, we're looking at the brand new episode of Spe Secrets of a Realm. And uh, in the lore section, we're going to talk about Ninja. So stay tuned for that. I Send us smog mail! Speaker6IV.com slash smog mail. <laughs>